Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here. And for today's show and tell, uh, I'm introducing you guys to a product that I don't know if I can actually recommend, but I think it's interesting from a technology and space standpoint anyway. Uh, back at CES, which I didn't go to this year, I read a couple articles about a company called Astro Reality that released a product, and it's familiar to me because I back their Indiegogo. So it's already out. It's called the Lunar Pro. They're shipping this now, and it's a model of, well, you can see it's it's the moon. And it's I think it's a pretty nice model of the moon. It's actually made of really nice polystone, um, definitely a good casting, can, no 3D print lines or anything, and the relief on these craters is pretty significant. Uh, the close-up detail is nice. I would say the paint job could be better, um, definitely mass painted, but it's it's good enough as a model for the moon. Now, if they were just selling a model of the moon for a cheap price, a relatively affordable price, I'd say no problem, highly recommend it. But they're not just selling this model. What they're selling is a new platform to look at objects, celestial objects, like the moon or other objects in our solar system, through an augmented reality app. And that's why this is $220. So in addition to the model, you're also going to have access to the Astro Reality app, which I'll launch so you guys can see what's going on. And when I tap the moon, which you have to activate by buying this and scanning a QR code, you can put the app over this model. And if I align it perfectly, it will give you some overlays, some map overlays. Now, if you're watching this video, you'll see that it's kind of drifting back and forth from the video of the table here and the augmented sections, uh, for which you can see where the terrain objects, notable points in the terrain, or even where some of the spacecraft are that we've landed on the moon. If I orient it properly, there it goes, um, or even an animation of some kind. Um, but the problem is that the alignment isn't great. See, once I move this, if I move this around, oh, lost alignment, and then I have to put the phone up again. The frame rate isn't great. I can tap on these objects and get some more detail, which is nice. But if I want to get close, it loses that tracking right away. Uh, now, the benefit of this is that there are no obvious tracking markers. There are no QR codes, fiducial markers. They're doing some type of computer imaging to track the locations on here, at least hiding it within the paint job or even the sculpture of this model, but it's not good enough. And another example is this little bonus piece they gave, which is the footprint of the moon, which is a, a nice magnet. You can put it on your fridge. But the idea is that when you put this on the table, you'll once again launch that app. And once I put this on here, can see the alignment and info, it actually has inverted the information on here. So try it again, there it goes. Let's see if I can actually see Buzz's face. Nope, come on, one more time, there it goes. Show me, ah, there it goes, finally, Buzz Aldrin. And a little video playing, but once I obscure it just a little bit, it's losing tracking. I think theoretically on paper, the concept of augmenting physical models with useful metadata, if you're going to a museum, for example, or even for a classroom, is really neat, but the software just isn't there. Maybe it's because of the compromises of not having any tracking system, but they could have devised a way to maybe build a stand or put it on a platform with tracking markers, and then you situate this perfectly on that platform, and then you can orient yourself around the object. But as they have it. There are no markers on this moon, but it's not so neat that the app just really doesn't work to my level of satisfaction. Um, but it's a heads up. If you're interested in picking up the Lunar Pro from Astro Reality, that's something to be aware of. It's a nice model of the moon, just not quite worth it for $220. Uh, we'll have more stuff to evaluate and show on testing in the future. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.